Hello, welcome back to class. Today is our fourth lesson. Uh, now that you have learned some basic Russian expressions, it's time to start forming your own Russian sentences. To do that, you would need to learn about Russian nouns, pronouns and verbs. In this and the following lessons, we are going to introduce some of the most difficult concepts in the Russian language. So don't worry if you need to go slow or if it takes time to, mem to memorize all these uh, at first. You can, re you can come back at any time and revise this material. So let's start with uh, the simplest sentence structure, like something is something or someone is something. Я студент. I am a student. Well, in the Russian language, the, uh, the present tense of the uh, verb to be is usually omitted. So while in English it is I am a student, in Russian it would, that would just I student. Я студент. And there are no uh, definite and indefinite articles in the Russian language, so you have to translate every time just according to the context. Well, between two nouns, a dash can be put instead of the omitted verb. Maria studentka. Maria. Maria is a student. Well, uh, student is a, is a word for a male student, and studentka is a female student. Now, to make a general question, all you have to do is just put a question mark in the end of the sentence and pronounce it with a question intonation. The student? The student? Are you a student? Okay. And to, to answer negatively, you should put the negative particle in, in, uh, like here. Нет. Я не студент. Нет. Я не студент. No, I'm not a student. So, uh, so far we have already met a few Russian pronouns, so let's have a close look at them. Here are the personal pronouns that can be used as the subject of a sentence. Note that there are two uh, variants for the second person singular, the plain one and the polite one, which you use in formal speech. Я, мы, ты, вы. Он, она, оно, они. Okay. And here, uh, please note that for the for the polite form of the second person singular, you use the same form as the plural. Okay. So uh, the same happens with the verb that follows. You use the uh, in in a polite speech, you use the plural form of a verb. Okay, now let's have a look at nouns. Okay. Russian nouns have gender. So there are three genders in the Russian language, masculine, feminine and neuter. Uh, nouns denoting male, male people and animals are attributed to masculine. And nouns denoting female people and animals are feminine. And unlike English, not all the uh, nouns denoting inanimate objects are neuter. Some of them may be masculine, some of them may be feminine. Okay. Uh, generally, you can predict the gender of a noun by its ending. For example, the majority of, uh, of Russian nouns ending with a consonant, and y is a consonant too, uh, are attributed to the masculine to the masculine gender, like here. Passport, tourist, musei. The majority of nouns ending with a, ya, or the soft sign are attributed to feminine. Visa, Russia, Ploshit. Okay. And most of the neuter nouns end with either o or ye, or mia. Утро, путешествие, имя. There are a few exceptions, though, which are not that difficult to remember. Uh, here are a few, mo a few most notable of them. Папа, дядя, дедушка, мужчина, кофе. All of them are attributed to the masculine gender. Well, the first four of them look like uh, like Newton or oh, excuse me look look like nouns of the feminine gender but according to the physical gender they are attributed to masculine and the last one looks like a Newton noun but it is attributed to masculine as well and this one is often misused even by native speakers so if your Russian friend 
uses it at uh, uses it in a wrong way you can uh, you can correct them okay. now uh, let's learn how to ask people where they are from откуда вы откуда вы where are you from okay if you're addressing a group of people they might answer мы из москвы мы из москвы we are from moscow now i think you can already make a question yourself are you from moscow are they from moscow они из москвы okay now let's have a closer look at the word moscow we already met this word in the previous lesson uh, this is how it looks like moskva but here something happened to the ending and this is another peculiarity of the Russian language. The Russian language is a language with a case system. There are six cases in the Russian language. Nominative, accusative, dative, genitive, instrumental, and prepositional. Well, uh, it looks like a lot. And actually, the case system of the Russian language is often one of the biggest hurdles for people studying Russian. So we will take it slowly. Uh, the majority of the nouns that we have met so far were in the nominative case form and we also met the genitive case form. This one is represented by the word Moskva and the word Moskvi is the genitive form of the same, uh, uh, the same word. Okay. Now, before we finish this lesson, let's have some practice. This is a short dialogue. Uh, let us read it together and try to, to translate it on your own. Here are a few words and expressions that you might need. Здравствуйте. Меня зовут Петр. Я бизнесмен. Я из России. А вы? А я Марк. Я англичанин. Я студент. Приятно познакомиться. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Петр. Я бизнесмен. Я из России. А вы? А я Марк. Я англичанин и я студент. Приятно познакомиться. Well, this is it for today and see you at the next lesson.